So next we will learn about the prism. Prism is basically what it's a wedge shaped block of a transparent medium. As as the prism. So it has two refracting surfaces and one base. So two rectangular surface by one and two. It is joined. So this is what is one refracting surface and this is another refracting surface. And this is called as a refracting edge. So how we define? The two rectangular surface of a prism at which refraction takes place are called refracting faces of the prism. These are what is a refracting faces. And the third one is base. Okay. So this is always a blur kind of kind of prism poetly than now. The base is the boy, the blurs is the blur. So these are that so called the rabasta and this and this is what is a refracting faces. The angle between so the angle between this refracting face and this refracting face this is called as angle of prism. <coughs> so kiri atanga incident ray kunchi ani emergent ray kunchi di poya atanga. So this is what is your incident ray. When this is your incident ray, this will be its normal. Normal matle er kire e tu si refracting surfaces apoy ekatin chani perpendicular karda. So perpendicular will be normal he normal so this is what is your incident ray angle of incidence so <coughs> instead of going straight the ray gets bent over here so angi dala ray bend jala pai so from p q o to the ray bends on koila o kade la pai angi here this angle so again this dotted line is a normal to this ac refracting face e ac g refracting faces up here f a c is a dotted line as a that will be your normal so after this point kide apakza it is going in the again rarer medium no so anga parat light ani bend jali that is the speciality of the prism so anga light pila ani bend jala so bend zone it has gone towards the base okay and this is what is your emergent ray so e so much when extend korun pile ani e anga anga join kele This angle becomes your angle of deviation. So, कितलो deviates जालो from this from ऐसा अस्तान ना तो line ना तो अशी जाली पड़े. So, कितलो deviates जालो so ये extend करो अप line of incidence अनि ये फटले ना join करो. So, join के लाज ये जो angle ऐसा पड़े वो angle आग मंडा angle of deviation. अनि कितलो emergence जालो तो कुछ गोल्ड जालो that is normal. Normal आग जो normal आग जो angle कट्टा पड़े that will be angle of emergence. Clear? So, it says When a ray of light passes through a glass prism, it gets bent twice. एक अंगा bend जालो, एक अंगा bend जालो. At the air glass interface, that is air glass interface and glass air interface, this results in the emergent ray bending towards the base of the prism. So what it says that it will bend towards the base of the prism. The emergent ray is deviated by an angle to the incident ray. This angle is called as angle of deviation. अबे तो वो angle मंच आंगले लो पे. That is the incident ray. अनि कितलो emergent जालो पे तो. So that angle will give you that uh, intersecting point will give you the angle of deviation. Clear? So from this part, I would say that hardly few questions will be asked. either to draw the uh, diagram of uh, this uh, uh, prism and how the incident ray emergent ray and this all points you need to mark properly and the second question will be based on your rainbow or we'll say wave gear okay so prism prism matlab jana ek beam of light pass the but you get seven different colors like a rainbow that is the speciality of glass prism let's see what is it dispersion of white light by a glass prism so first of all dispersion matla kide dispersion matla spreads out okay disperse manta pe tumhi janna assembly krauta janna tumcho physical education sir manta disperse after march pass or something disperse matla tumhi sagle separate jata sagle jaite hoyta nachta jaite karta so that is called as a dispersion but ana nachna kona 
<coughs> when a beam of white light is passed through a glass prism white light is a visible light light simple light white light so jena ek light jena ashi anga pass sata okay means incident jata on a prism it splits up into band of colors called spectrum so ye je different colors asa eka manta spectrum this is called dispersion of white light so basically white light jena prism atlan pass sata pa you get a spectrum of colors okay that is called as dispersion of white light सो आता कशे सो जेना सेम सेम कॉन्सेप्ट हंगा संग कॉन्सेप्ट दीस कॉन्सेप्ट दीस इज अ वाइट लाइट बैंड जी सो एक वाइट लाइट हंगा तुका एक लाइन अभी बैंड जी सैकेंड अभी बैंड जी थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ अभी लाइट बैंड जाए थ्रे सो वील सी बीम ऑफ लाइट इज लाइक दीस सो इट वील बैंड एट एयर ग्लास इंटरफेस एंड अगेन इट वील बैंड बैंड फ्रॉम ग्लास एयर इंटरफेस ओके फ्रॉम ग्लास एयर इंटरफेस अगेन इट वील बैंड सो कि वाइट लाइट जेना हंगा जे इन्सिडेंट जो इट गेट डिस्पर्स इन टू सेवेन डिफरंट कलर्स लाइक अ रेनबो लाइक अ रेनबो ओके सेवेन डिफरंट कलर्स सो द टॉप मोस्ट कलर इज योर रेड एंड दी सग सकल आता तो इट इज वायलेट कलर ओके सो इट इज रेड ऑरेंज येलो ग्रीन ब्लू इंडिगो एंड वायलेट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड द स्पेक्ट्रम द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ वाइट has the colors this is what i explained you all so it is called as vip gyor vip gyor okay the red light bends the least and the violet light bends the most this is very important okay wait jena white light eta red kami bend eta whereas violet light violet color basically third bend eta correct so jena e jena draw kar you will understand kase this angle of deviation this is your violet and this is your normal okay red will be somewhere here so the angle between the red and will be very less compared to the angle between the uh, normal and the violet light correct so this is what is the spectrum so it is same like the raindrop raindrop what this is a drop right so again the sunlight okay when it uh, 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 when it incidence over this point it will reflect refract basically it will refract so anga refract down up ek light ashi gele ek light hanga gela so from here again it will refract here it will reflect not reflect here it is reflection on inside only so once it once the light goes inside it will not come out from here again it will reflect so reflect down anga etlo and from here there will be a refraction from this point and you will see the rainbow this is what happens in the rainbow so i'll just read this a rainbow is the beautiful natural spectrum appearing in the sky after a rain shower it is caused by the dispersion of sunlight by water droplets present in the atmosphere same like dispersion of sunlight the, the di dispersion of sunlight and water droplets asta okay a water droplet acts like a small prism so this water droplet will act like a small prism they refract and disperse the sunlight then reflect it internally inter muranga barela by internal reflection so first it will disperse refract reflect and refract okay so reflect it internally and finally refract it again when it comes out of the raindrop due to the dispersion of sunlight and internal reflection by the water droplet we see the rainbow colors it's very easy to remember like first you have that so this you can imagine as a beam of white light it will refract then it will reflect and again it will refract there will be a internal reflection in the droplet and when it will come out from this it will be again refraction